All right, guys, I've got it in hand. The brand new smoking hot from By Killian. Is it smoking hot? I don't know, but we're about to find out. <laughs> Let's talk about it. YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the fashion and fragrance aficionado. On this channel, that's exactly what we cover, man. Primarily fragrance, but we get into a little fashion-related content as well because I just want to make sure I can do my part to make sure you guys are looking and smelling great. So if you're into that kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon as well. So that way, when I upload a new video, you'll get notified. And as I said, guys, we're going to be jumping into the brand new release from By Killian, which is called Smoking Hot. Now, I've had this fragrance for a few days. I've had a chance to wear it out and about for two days. Um, I actually received it on Friday. Um, you know, so I had a chance to really uh, get a chance just to experience it. Now, I'll get into seasons and all that kind of stuff here uh, in just a few moments. But, you know, as I said again... Got a chance to see how it plays on my skin. Got a chance to see people's reactions out and about. Um, so I'll at least be able to give you a pretty good kind of first initial impressions on this new release from By Killian. So I'm going to run the intro when we come back. Smoking hot. Is it smoking hot? Well, we're going to find out. Or you're going to find out in just a minute. So you know how we do. You know how we rock. Keep it locked. There's that rhyme right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. So the presentation, honestly, now, since Killian doesn't really do the conference anymore, not really much to talk about on the box. It's just a black box. <laughs> it says smoking hot. And of course, your fragrance, when you open it, it will rest right here securely in the box. That's it for the presentation. <laughs> of course, guys, once you take it out of the box, all Killian fragrances have a very similar presentation. This one has the gun metal cap on it, just like uh, Black Phantom, for instance. I think the juice is almost like a yellowish, goldish color. It's really hard to probably see that uh, from the through the camera, so um, I won't really help to probably try to show you that. Maybe, let's see. Yeah, it's hard to make it out, but... That's what color the, the juice is. But again, other than that, you know, Killian bottles, unless it's the white bottle or red or blue, they pretty much all uh, look the same. Now, spray on this. Pretty good as well. Let's see if we can catch this. Kind of caught it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so since I've sprayed it, guys, let's go ahead and jump into exactly what this fragrance smells like. So guys, I have it on my hand and I'm smelling it right now. Man, look, I've seen some people uh, kind of compare this fragrance to Angel Share. I can kind of see where people are coming from with that comparison in the first couple minutes uh, of uh, you applying this fragrance to your skin. And that's because it has that apple cinnamon. Now. Of course, uh, if you smell Angel Share, you know that that fragrance is, has that apple cinnamon kind of vibe as well. Not only that fragrance, but also another fragrance from By Killian, which is Apple Brandy. Uh, apple Brandy kind of has that have a very similar kind of scent profile highlighting that, that note of apple. But is it redundant to have this in Angel Share? Absolutely not. Because that's, there's just a slight similarity in the opening. I just want to say I can understand where somebody would say that. But it's just because of that kind of apple cinnamon. But this, you get apples, cinnamon, and you get this smoky nuance. Now, I heard people say hookah tobacco um, or a hookah. And that's where the smoke comes in. You know, um, I'm not a, a smoker. Uh, I have been around people that have smoked hookah before. And so I can kind of understand uh, that reference. The smoke in here, and I'm sure that's what 
uh, the fragrance was made to kind of uh, emulate the smoke from a hookah, uh, which isn't a really heavy smoke. Um, it's more of a light smoke, all right? But it has that, it's almost like the, if you were uh, to go to a hookah lounge and you smell the smoke, but then you smell that apple and then you smell that cinnamon as well. That's exactly what you get uh, in this fragrance in the opening. Now, as the fragrance starts to really dry down, uh, the only thing that really happens with this to my nose when I wore it, it becomes more smoky, less apple. <laughs> All right. So it's still going to be uh, you still don't get the cinnamon in there. You still get the smoke in there as well with that apple, obviously being something that you get more prominently in the opening. It starts to subside more. The fragrance starts to really dry down. Uh, so probably at about that, I would say 30 minute mark or so. Uh, the apple goes completely in the background, but you're left with the smoke, smoky nuance, and the cinnamon as well. So that cinnamon, although spicy, it does still lend a little bit of a kind of sweet nuance to the fragrance as it starts to dry down. But I am telling you right now my honest opinion, I absolutely love this fragrance. So the apple, cinnamon, the smoke, and obviously the uh, tobacco uh, is really what you get for the duration uh, of this fragrance. Now, I would say about 30 to 40 minutes or so into uh, the wearing, when that apple starts to take a little bit more of the back seat and you get a little bit more of a of the smokiness uh, that's coming from the fragrance, um, I do start to pick up on this slightly warm kind of, you know, musky nuance and that's coming from uh, this note. I think it's called like or Orconauts or something like that, but what it is, it's a kind of another synthetic uh, version of ambergris kind of like ambroxan so you start to get that kind of warm sensation in there and then you get some bourbon vanilla that comes into play so whereas the apple goes to the background i start to get more of that bourbon vanilla now what i love about the fact that they use bourbon vanilla in here and not regular vanilla which is usually i think vanillin uh is that's using a lot of fragrances that vanilla that's typically used in fragrances is a little bit more sweet a little more pastry cookie cookie like uh, vanilla, whereas the bourbon vanilla gives off a slight bit of a smoky nuance. So that helps to kind of support that whole smoky accord uh, that runs throughout the duration of this fragrance. So it adds a little bit of a sweetness, but also a slight bit of a smokiness as well using the bourbon vanilla here as well. And again, guys, I would say my personal opinion, I love this fragrance. Now I have Pretty much everything Killian has released within the, over the last two years or so. Um, I haven't done a, a singular review yet on Can't Stop Loving You, uh, Ginger Dash. I think they did Rose Oud um, last year as well. Uh, what am I missing? There may have been one or two others, but I have them. You know, I'm a big fan of The House of By Killian. But over the last two years or so, this has been my favorite release. I can see this kind of competing with some of my favorite Killians, you know, the single malts, the apple brandies uh, of the world. Really, really enjoy this fragrance. Now, when I wore it out and about, um, I got eight hours, well, about eight, a little over eight hours of uh, overall performance. But I really, really like it. Uh, for me, it's going to be a staple as we move forward. I think it's definitely great for the colder months of the year. You know, obviously a fragrance that's constructed this way that has apple, cinnamon, tobacco, um, bourbon, vanilla. To me, really, really great in the cooler months of the year. It's going to work great. I think it will be a great date night fragrance as well. Um, so if you're going out on a date, uh, anytime in the near future, if you get your hands on this, this is something that I think would pair really well uh, in that type of scenario. Date night, close encounter. Overall, great release from By Killian. Like I said, for me personally... Uh, this is my favorite that they released over the last few uh, years. This is right up there with some of my favorites. But that is it, guys. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I gave you kind of my overall initial impressions of the newest fragrance from By Killing, which is Smoking Hot. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time. I appreciate your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch what you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take out a few moments to like comment and subscribe and make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining because i'm your guy darren i'm the Voltaire fragrance guy i love to look good and of course i love to smell amazing so until next time guys keep looking good keep smelling even better i'll catch you
on the flip side. Peace.